hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i am back with a brand new and highly requested video and very exciting actually for a lot of you not really for me because it's not a video i ever envisioned myself doing on this channel but you know what i didn't realize how helpful my video on the best bars for large bus big bus was and i thought ooh, maybe i do have some tips to share with you ladies that are like myself you are super small small back with a large bus i am a 30 h for reference and um so yes swimwear is probably the most frustrating area just forget about bras forget about dresses forget about tops forget about everything else swimwear is the area where we have the most problem um it, it's just been uh, yeah it's just been so hard and so frustrating till this day there still isn't a place that have the best swimsuit for us but i would say asos is still the place i find the best swimwear for large bus ladies like myself first of all i've just been privileged enough to go up by the beach and swimming almost every day so in a way i don't really care to go to the beach to be quite honest i'm more of a kind of like mountain person in a way i would rather like a river and the ocean kind of like freaks me out i don't like going to the beach i'm just like sweat and then i'm just ashy from the sand it's just it's the ghetto so <laughs> i'm not much of a beach person really but um but you know here and there we're gonna go places where there's a beach and of course i'll still like to have a bikini that fits me perfectly and yeah it hasn't happened yet but we have had some that works for us and i'm going to be sharing with you the ones that i found that are decent that work for now that you know provides a little bit of support and then we'll go from there so back in the day when i could never find you know when i didn't know about asos or ASOS didn't even exist. I'm sure ASOS existed, but we didn't know about it in the States. Back in the day when I first moved here and looking for a bathing suit, you can forget about it. Like, you know, growing up back home, I didn't have a bathing suit. I think I used to, I don't even remember what I used to wear actually. I think I used to wear like a regular bra and then maybe like a, a t shirt on top of it and something like that. Um, so back in the day, the place that I used to find bras and bathing suit that fits me was Macy's. For a lot of people, I think it's like Nordstrom. Or that other store that closed down so yes Macy's was the place that I used to find bras that kind of like fit, not really fit me but that were decent enough to kind of like work for me so I've had these swimsuits I believe for 15 years now for as long as I've been in this country I've had these two swimsuits and they're like the only thing that fits me or not really fits me they're, they're like the only thing that worked for me since i've been here i haven't found i've bought so many in the past like i have a bag full of swimsuits that just don't work for me i should probably just i need to just get rid of them but i just keep hanging on to them for when i have my surgery and i'm like finally i can wear something cute and like you know a bikini well i'm not much of a bikini person anyways but you know it would be nice to be able to fit in one so i've since i found this swimsuit i just didn't bother with anything else to be quite honest because i'm like i finally find something that was decent enough to kind of like hold my boobs and then i was just like oh I'm sticking with this until a miracle happens that somebody comes out with a line for us that fits us um so this is the one that I got and of course it has an underwire you know for us we need something with underwire I think it came with like little um padding here which I removed which is amazing because they give you the option to remove it and then also it doesn't have like a padding that is like sewn in which is frustrating for a lot of us again this is the only swimsuit i mean two of them they're like the same but i just bought them in different color because it's just like as soon as i found this the brand is spirit i'm not even spirit bitch i'm not even sure if they even around anymore i'm gonna check actually but this is an extra small wow i used to be skinny back in the days back in the days i used to be skinny i used to weigh like 100 pounds now i'm probably like 115 but um yeah back in the days i used to be like tiny um wow so maybe a small would have just been perfect actually so yes i've had this swimsuit for as long as i've been in the country it's the number one swimsuit that i know that always works for me and then and is this like kiddish print which is a print that i don't really like you know with the 
butterfly it's cute but then again i just feel like i'm a classy girl i just want something that is like white or black or like a solid color like a navy blue something that's more classic not the sort of print like what do i look like you know like i'm 14 working around with this little like butterfly printed bathing suit like i just like oh i just cringe every time I see it but again you are kind of like my size in terms of um, bras once you find something that works you just stick with it forever or just buy it in multiple before it sells out and then so you have a backup um, and that's why I tend to buy a lot of things in twos is for that same reason when you finally find something that works you just keep buying it and if, if it comes in different color because you know it works for us so the next stop is when I found ASOS when i found asos i was just like oh my god it was finally a place where i find bras that works for me and then it occurred to me well why not look for a bathing suit that works for you as well and you can actually look for a bathing suit on your size it comes just in the regular bra size um let me see what size i took in this one i'm not sure if i cut off the the tag of course i got um 32 i because at the time i used to think i was a 32 but i'm actually a 30 so um i am a us 32 i took a us 32i and which is a uk 32j a europe 70j so um this one my only complaint with it is that it comes it has padding again which is so unnecessary especially if you're making for someone with a backside like this it's just unnecessary to have padding but it was in the size that fits me it just fits like i'm wearing a regular bra and then also i just love it. it's in the classic color it's black and white it's just perfect um so i love this so when i found this and then i got this bidding suit i just thought like oh my god i just found the perfect thing since sliced bread i got a size uk8 and um a us4 and the bottom which is look a little skimpy which is why i don't really like wearing two piece because it's just too much skin for me but um oh did i even tell you what i'm wearing i'm wearing this dress from h and um it's like an eyelid dress it's a dress i typically wear when i'm going to the beach it has pockets sold out from last year and also my hoops pearls are also from h m so so yes that's what i'm wearing on my lip, I have Dior Lip Glow All in Rosewood, and then the lipstick is NYX Cali. And on my lids, I have the Double Tap Palette by Pixie Beauty. It's my favorite um, summer palette. Or I would say vacation. Every time I go anywhere, that's what I do. And I wanted to find a triangle bikini. I would say stay away from the triangle bikini because it's going to be a disaster for you um i did find one that if i lose whenever i lose weight like if i go back down to like 100 or like 105 pounds this one would actually fit me a little bit this one was from h&m i think i managed to get like a like a medium and a triangle or maybe a large and then a small on the bottom so i actually wore this in greece no italy this is a U, um, size 4, and I think I was able to get a really, really big one. But then again, it, this is not going to offer you enough support. But I do find that if I am if I lose a lot of weight, I tend to be able to fit in this one. So um, so every time I, you know, kind of lose weight, that's if it's like if I'm going away somewhere, I will take this one with me. But it's still not my favorite because it still have a lot of spillage. When I wear this, like, everyone at the pool is always like um because you know they're kind of like spilling again i don't think this is classy especially for someone like myself who has a big bust because you have your boobs spilling all over the place i don't think it's a classy look so i don't tend to really wear this one unless i'm like 100 pounds then i feel like you know that i lose weight in my boobs as well they become smaller and in that way i can make it work other than that this is just like in my dreams that i wear this again i don't really like to wear two-piece anyway so i don't bother i wonder how they're gonna fit right now because i think i'm like my regular my normal weight now as you can see i don't think it's even gonna work honestly but i'm gonna be trying on everything for you so you guys can see again stay away from the triangle you want something with underwire because if you go triangle the minute you go to the pool or the beach you're gonna come out all your boobies is gonna be flying and the next brand that i found that works really really well that provides some support 
from ladies with big busts like myself is ND Swim, which is the brand that I actually discovered at an event that Mongo and I went in the Hamptons. They had the bidding suit, they gifted us a bidding suit. I got the size medium, which I should have gotten a size small. Again, always trying to buy things bigger to compensate for your top. What I love about this, it has this kind of like double layer here that um, provides support for your top. Um, it's just amazing. So as you can see, it's really, really beautiful. This is a Tulum bathing suit. I take this with me every time I go to Tulum. It's a beautiful shape. It's really, really nice on. I think this one is super flattering. So I would highly recommend ND Swim. If you're in the market for like a beautiful, beautiful one piece, I absolutely love this one. So if I had to pick uh, my favorite one, this would probably be it from Andy Swim. And um, and the brand was kind enough to gift me another one last year. And uh, so I picked out the red one and I picked again the Tulum because the Tulum fits me so much better. And this time around, they actually added padding in this one, which I'm about to, which I would probably take... Um, I'll probably remove the ends. Oh, I didn't realize. I think it was the same for the other one too. I, honestly, you see, I don't be paying attention. So <clears throat> I didn't realize they had um, the little holes to take this out. So we don't need that. But um, I don't know, maybe I should try it with the insert to see if it keeps your boobs up. I know I don't like it with the insert. That's just extra padding. That's just unnecessary. For this time around, I went with my size, a size small. And this one fits a lot better. This is the brand name if you are on the market. So if you're on the market for like the most flattering bathing suit for uh, big busted ladies or large busts like myself, this is probably the number one right now that I recommend aside from ASOS. If you like a bikini, a two-piece, I would say go for ASOS. But if you're looking for one piece, something that is classic, classic, Andy is your girl. If you want to wear something that is super elegant and super sexy, um, to the beach or to the pool. Um, I would say this is probably a shape that you could probably get away with. Again, this provided me really, really amazing support. Again, I think it's because it's cut into here under the boob. So it provides like a real, let me show you the inside. So it's kind of, it's backless, it's halter neck. This provides so much support. Again, it's big enough. Um, it provides so much support. This is one of those. It's just like every time I wear this, it's just like wow This looks amazing again. I can't even read the brand But um, my ex-boyfriend's mom gave this to me And I am so grateful she did because this is one of my favorite. It may not look like anything Here, but once I put it on you will see what it looks like So I would say this is a shape to consider if you're looking for something that is on the pretty side and um, you just don't care for crazy support like that, you just want something that's cute, that's one. Um, in other stories, make really cute swimwear also that works for people with large bust. So I found this one from them last year and oh my goodness, this is one of the best ones and it also have it in beautiful colors. I actually went to the store yesterday, they have this in the navy blue. I'm gonna see if it's online, I will link it. But this is one of my favorite. This reminds me kind of like a James girl, well, James Bond girl or James girl, I don't know. Like, you know, a leading lady in a James Bond movie coming out of the ocean in a bathing suit like that. That's what this reminds me of. Something that is super retro. I absolutely love it. Again, I was surprised to see how much support this style. Again, I think it's because it's square neck. Um, also the strap is super thick and then it's adjustable here. Um, this is one of the best one out there. It does have lining. I think the other reason why this one is really great, it has darts on the inside. I always tell you ladies, if you have big busts like, you know, ourselves, myself, you have to consider clothing that have darts. And then I think because of the dart on the inside, it just make the boobs look really really good and then i love the button details going down and it's the most beautiful shade of yellow you guys know yellow is my favorite color color i mean you know that was expected absolutely love this again this is from another story i do want to buy it i think i'm gonna get it in the blue and it's super affordable too i think it's like 49 bucks so i'm gonna see if i can get it in the blue actually because the blue one i think would look amazing so i'm gonna check it out the next brand that makes 
beautiful swimwear um swimwear for big busted ladies like ourselves is freya is it freya intimate it's just freya freya has a great idea but they need to work on the design like i wish i can work with them in a way i wish it would partner with me in a way like in the design aspect of things i would be the guinea pig i would try everything on and i would kind of like give them feedback i would also help them with the design of it all to be quite honest because again i've taken many classes i know how to make my own bra and my make my own wallet i mean i don't because it's such like a tedious process so many elements goes into it but i what i would like to do instead of starting my own line i would rather just work with already an established brand and kind of like work with them on perfecting like the best bras and streamwear for myself so if any of you work at freya and want to give them an idea let's like a like a high waist i do love a good high waist but because my boobs are so big when i wear the top i'm gonna tell you so they do have the right idea for the tops for some reason they end up making the top so big and bulky it's to the point it makes your boobs end up being a lot bigger than it needs to be so um which is a problem that we typically have people like ourselves we typically have this problem with bras so when people make bras they make them like so ugly and big not understanding that you can create the same support in a bra that is thin but it's just finding that design work that's going to make it you know work together so um as you can see here they do have the right idea but this makes my boob looks a million times bigger when i put it on for some reason um this is in my size i believe uh yeah a us 30k um this is a us 30k again they do have the right idea i just wish that um i just do think that they need to keep at it keep working on it to make stuff for me like this make me look like an old lady i'm sorry and it does and they just you know need to work on the design a little bit to kind of like make it a little bit kind of like more modern and just more sexy and more young and more youthful for people like ourselves i will show you guys how this looks on whenever i i don't really wear i love the idea i love that it's in my size their design it's not you know like there yet but i just feel like if like a few you know tricks in there they can get it to work um really really well again exhibit a over here look at this look at this this is massive like massive again this is the same thing us 30k if i'm if my back is this small i need support but it doesn't need to be crazy support like this and then this has a crazy lining on the inside which is so unnecessary for people like ourselves all you have to create on the bottom is the pleat once you create the pleat so that way even if it's extra fabric so it doesn't look like it's too much and then you don't even have you don't even need this you can just have the swimsuit material but just have the pleats on the bottom so that way you have the extra fabric there so once you put it on it just takes the shape of your boobs this is unnecessary it makes your boobs look so much bigger than it needs to be again they have the right idea they just just need to work on the design as you can see here like look at this can you see me wearing this like it makes me look like i'm like you know 50 years old or something like that nothing against you know being 50 or anything like that i'm gonna get there very soon so no not very soon but you know um <laughs> but um i'm gonna get there one day but you know still i still want to wear something cute again the back is just like come on unnecessary for the back it really is unnecessary again um just because you know we have big boobs doesn't mean that everything has to be high waist you know we can have cute bottoms to go with it although i do prefer a high waist because i feel like i do have a little bit of a belly and i like to cover it but um but i do think you know you could have bikinis some cute bottoms to kind of like go with it again this make me look so old and no nah. and then now in terms of a designer this is my last brand of bathing suit that I think um, girl with big busts, large busts like myself can get away with is Hanza G. 
all of these I got from Farfetch. I actually have a Farfetch code. It's 10 YT Rose. So I'm going to leave the link below if you guys, you see, Farfetch. If you guys want to check anything out, um, you can check it down below. Again, this brand is Hansa G. Like, all the cool girls wear Hansa G. It has this crinkle material. I love it so much. I actually have it in, like, three colors. I have it in the white because this crinkle material um, is just strong enough to give us a little bit of support. Um, so, it's one size. I also got because it kind of, like, expands even if you have curves. I feel like even if you're pregnant, you could still wear this, honestly. I love the black. I love the white. I also wanted in the yellow. This was the first one that I bought. And I loved it so much um, that I ended up getting in this. I would say if you're a large boss, stay away from this detail. I feel like this detail... Actually, I think I'm going to cut this piece out. Um, because it kind of like makes it a little... <clears throat> it makes it look a little bit weird because of the detail on the back. It kind of like force it a little bit too much and your boobs end up looking weird. I just feel like the one that is without that detail just look a lot better on its own with the low back. Um, so I didn't realize. So all I have to do is cut this part out and remove it. But if you are flat, then you won't have that problem at all. But if you want to be like the cool girls, I know it's really hard for us as you know someone with small backs and really large busts to just wear what the cool girls are wearing it just breaks my heart i'm like i wish i could be like a trendy girl who wears the coolest stuff but you know i can't i don't mind being a classic girl honestly but still sometimes it would be cool to be able to wear all those cool pieces and um but we can't and that's what we have to deal with and I would say, again, this is an, a brand that you can get away with wearing a lot of their stuff. Um, it's Hansa G. Like, you, like I said, I love them enough so much that I ended up buying this in three. And don't forget to check out my Farfetch code if you want to check this out or anything else. For that matter, it expires on June 9th. So if you want to check something out, do it now. But I absolutely love Hansa G. I think it's just so cool. I think most everyone has it in the green because that was the color that was the most popular when it came out like a couple of a few years ago, actually. But I absolutely love the classic pair. And now I'm gonna